Welcome to the first episode of What's New in the S2M Center 2012 Release 1. This is Andrew Reeby, and I will be taking you through the new features and enhancements of the machine catalog in the S2M Center. I have opened the S2M Center standalone application here. To start off, since this episode is about the machine catalog, we will need to click on this button in the ribbon bar. Now that we have the machine catalog open, I want to start off by showing off the changes to the setup tab. So let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, to start off, you can see here that we have a series of groups. These groups will allow you to select a generalized area for the machine's properties. All is selected by default, so all of the machine properties will show up. If we select IntelliCam, for instance, you can see that the properties list changes to show only the properties that pertain to the IntelliCam group. Going back to the All group, let's take a look at our Properties list. You can see here that it is a bit different than when we had a group selected. We have the ability to collapse groups, and we can also expand them back out. Another thing to notice is that larger groups, such as IntelliCam, are actually broken up into smaller groups, like IntelliCam-Rapid, for ease of use. Now that I've explained that, let's move back to the Machine tab so I can show you something that we're really excited about here at Planet. This next feature I want to talk about is a really cool one, at least we think it is. Machine sets. Yes, I said machine sets. Just like tool sets and profile sets and any other kind of sets we have had in the past, you can now specify a machine set. Let's go through the process of creating a machine set real quick so you can see it. Okay, so you can see here that I have a new machine type that I can select while creating a new machine. Let's go ahead and select it. Now let's name this something simple, like Sample Machine Set. And with that done, let's just go ahead and click the OK button to create our new machine set. And here we have it, a machine set. Notice how there is no setup or multi-drill tabs? This is because this isn't a machine. It's a set of machines that will perform all of their output at the same time. So machine setup will have to be handled for each individual machine as you have done in the past. Now to go over some things. This is the tag. It allows you to set a three character tag that can be used in Label It or the Report Center to identify machines that are part of the set. This is the Available option. With this checked, you can use this machine set in the S2M Center. Uncheck it and, yep, you guessed it, can't use it. Now this doesn't affect the availability of the machines that are a part of this set, just the set itself. Here is the list of machines that are used in this set all of the machines in the catalog will be present here. Now, a simple note, a machine set consists of a single primary machine and multiple secondary machines, so you can't output to four or five primary nests or saws at the same time. When selecting a primary machine, just click in this area, and a drop-down that contains all of your primary machines will be displayed for you to select. Next, you just check off which secondary machines you want to use. Finally, we have the Filters section. I'm not going to go in-depth with this, but I will overview it for you. Any filters that you have saved will be listed here. Just select the filter you want to use, how you want it applied, and click the Add button. For more information on this, please look in your S2M Center help file. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration. If you would like more information on the S2M Center, please visit the S2M Center's website at www.screentomachine.com. For those of you viewing this video from eSupport, you can click on the hyperlink in this video to go there now.